Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of Escape of the Pacific with my no navigational tools challenge. So uh, the the idea behind this series is to reach the next cluster without using a compass, map, uh, sextant or the watch. Um, still on our starter island. It is now the third day or the fourth day really sunrise on the fourth day we've survived three days um the last episode we did some nighttime hunting over there and hunted some birds and i spent the next couple of days chopping off a bunch of trees um because to get anywhere we're gonna need ourselves a raft just gonna reset the mast here so gonna pull out our hammer Gonna pull out our axe first and get this crab out the way. And we're gonna pop this guy. Uh, let's see. Any of these got salt in them? Nope. Grab one of these dried bird meats off and pop that on there. Pop that in there. Okay. So I'll pull out a hammer. Uh, I'm going to take this piece off. Put it over here. I'm going to take this piece off and put it over here. I'm going to attach this one on the front here. Whoops. Okay. Well, it's detached, so pop that on the front. Now we're going to put the banana one on there. Pop this banana one. in here and we can make one more banana one so pop that down plonk that in there grab that one plonk that in grab ourselves a thick branch we'll hammer that together that in all right um okay so yeah we're gonna do one with the palms no big branch hammer that in side I'm gonna go for pretty much the same sort of design as my last one just with the largest base possible uh, I think the only real difference I'm gonna to make to this one is where I put the seventh sail so we'll hammer this together And depending on how many planks and whatever else, we might have to resort to some different cabin walls, but we'll see about that. Okay, so now we've got five across. So keep putting these together. Uh, 
Ana de ahí. Pick that up. Plunk it in like that. Okay. So I'm going to continue doing this until I've got a 5x5. Five five. And unless something interesting happens in between, I'll be back to you when I'm done with that. So I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, so just finishing off the last piece here. Popping that in there. And got normal tree trunks in the, the central one at the back here. So we've now got a 5x5. Five that five. Yeah, should do us. Okay, so now we need to put on some more mass. I'm going to move this one. So we're going to loosen that. Um, this can take a few times. Just got to keep trying until you get it. So holding down your uh, right mouse button. And I'm not sure if your disassembly skill helps with this at all. Sometimes from the other side. Yeah, we've just got to keep trying. Doesn't want to come off. Definitely doesn't want to come off. zero dismantling skill so I'm not sure if that does have an effect on it but it definitely doesn't want to come off okay alright well, I'm not going to waste your time watching me trying to get that off. Uh, we'll build another mast here. We're going to put seven in total. And from as far as I understand it, seven is sort of like the maximum. Uh, if you do have a large raft like we do, you do need more than just one or two sails but if you have any more than seven it's sort of none of them count after the seventh one all right so we'll put our mast on like that we need to tie it down we've got some ropes over here and i'm just gonna pop that in there and actually uh these ivies that we cut the other day have started growing back again so that's a short ivy again so we'll grab that. And now it's back to being a young ivy. This one's a short ivy also. So it's taken a couple of days for them to grow back. But if you cut the young ivy, it won't grow back. Okay. Let's have a quick run around. And just uh, see if there was any more ivies that have grown. One here. That's the short ivy. And if you get a medium ivy, that'll give you two of these ivy stems. That one's also grown back to a short one. Not sure if there was any more. I think that might be the last one. There's a couple over here. They're both short. Getting a little on the tired side. It's okay. Grab this one. 
this is another one there to do. Alright. Grab this one. Okay. Now I think that's all of them. So it didn't take too long for them to grow back. Not sure how long it takes them to grow into a medium, probably a, an extra couple of days. So, yeah, we'll just go into our crafting. And if you don't know about favourites, these will be favourited by default. You just gotta untick them. I think there's like four or five is the total max you can have. And just gonna make sure that that one's favourited. And then you can just hold down C, your favourites will come up. And it's got the tools, but you've also got your equipment, boat pieces, recipes. So we're going to make this rope out of the, uh, the ivy. Put our knife away. Put that in your hand. And so the rope now, uh, as of... The uh, 0.62 update is what they used to call a strong rope. And all it takes is one ivy stem to make a whole one of these instead of using four small ropes, which are now called twine. However, you can still make them from the, uh, the four twines. But uh, that's quite a few quite a few ropes there that we just got pretty easily so all right we'll uh tie this one on and you know we're gonna make a sail make a banana one um i want to put four across the front there and three across the back um, so I think I'm going to have all bananas across the front. And, because that's just, we don't have enough, uh, banana palms to make any more. So I'll also do the normal palm fronds. I'll add four banana palms to this one. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of palm fronds here but the banana sails are better I'll just pick up five I did drop one of them grab ourselves some long sticks add those hammer them together together right. make another mast here that up put this one in the back corner here all right now if we try to put this on without tying down the mast it, uh, it won't let us so it only gives us the option to fasten and that's talking about fastening the mast so we do need to tie that down Just like that and now we can put this up here attach it and then we also need to tie that on as well 
like so. Grab that banana one. Which it's not seeming to want to let me do it. not giving me any interaction options so I'm going to do a quick save and see I will just load that save that we just did so that is a bug that pops up now and then where it doesn't let you interact with anything now we can pick it up and every time you save and reload it unfurls your sails. Pop that in. It's going to hit you on the UI. Bring our sails back down. Tie that one on. Okay. So I'm going to continue making these sails and masts and popping them on. And I'll be back to you when I'm done with that. So I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so I've done all the sails and the masts. Brought us to night time. We are falling asleep. So we're going to have a, a snooze. I'll sleep until sunrise. Uh, you don't need to sleep until sunrise. You can just sleep until fully rested. Um, but the darkness seems to affect the quality of my videos once YouTube renders it. Um... So I'm just going to sleep till sunrise to make the lighting a little bit better for you guys. Um, so when we upload videos to YouTube, they get rendered um, with different codecs depending on the uh, how big the channel is. And they favour the bigger channels with better quality rendering. So... Uh, if you want to help me out and you'd like to see my videos in higher quality once they're uploaded um, then hitting the subscribe button leaving likes comments on my videos that would go a long way to helping me get better quality videos to you still trying to take this one off it still doesn't want to let me so I'll leave it for now, but eventually I want to move that mast over to here. Um, so, we've got all our masts. Getting a bit thirsty and a bit hungry. So let's uh, drink this up. Okay, almost there, that'll do us, uh, we'll run this across here and grab salt off of the mangrove, let's uh, check how these are doing, that's got salt in it, that's got salt, that's got salt, alright, so, going to salt some of this stuff. Uh, salt some meat as well. That's already salted, so we'll salt some of this bird meat. That one, that one. Alright, uh, we'll pop that back in the catcher. Alrighty, the vitamin C is getting down a little bit. Um, yeah, salt too. Yeah, fruit's way up, so we'll eat some of this uh, salted meat that we had over here. That one. It gets rid of our hunger, brings our salt up a bit, so need some fish, uh, we'll just eat an unsalted fish, and 
another one. Alright. So that's even that out. A little bit of thirst come back. Eating dry food. Delete one of these because it's got a fair whack of vitamin C and a bit of thirst. Going to bring our fruit back up. Vitamin C's up a little bit. Maybe we'll uh, do one of these dry ones. And for some reason, eating the dry one. Hmm. Actually put our fruit down. Well, that's weird. But anyway, that's pretty decent. So we'll keep going here. So now we've got. We've got our seven masts and our seven sails. That ivy's still young. So we don't want to chop them. They won't grow back. But we've got plenty of ropes at the moment. Uh, what we need on this now is rudders. And we're going to put four. And once again, from uh, what I understand, four is the, the sort of most effective on a large raft and any more than four doesn't really have any impact so let's pop all these down add a small stick to each of them hammer them in And these two. And the last one. And we're just going to pick that up with E. Plunk that one there. Grab that one. Put that one there. And do the same on this side. And these also need to be fastened with a rope. So we've still got a few ropes. Okay, so this is now a seaworthy vessel, still do with some improvements, uh, so we do have a crate over here which will break down into planks, and let's see. Don't really have that much more in the way of uh, trunks or thick branches. I think most of the trees left here will only give us um, long sticks. We could cut down more coconut palms I guess but uh, I've got this one can chop that up into some thick branches and uh, we'll start putting a little bit of the beginnings of the cabin on here but uh, that's going to do it for this episode so if you did enjoy this episode please leave me a like or a comment down below if you'd like to see more please hit the subscribe button Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.